Welcome to my tutorial for beginners. I, in this I will be using palette knife, uh, spatulas. The colors which I will be using are blues, red, yellows and green and white. I have uh, painted the canvas with phthalo blue and purple and now with light blue pastel I am creating a perspective for a path. The, the top part of the uh, path is going to be the horizon and uh, uh, now I'm just marking out the front part of the ground or the plane. The, now I'm just curving, taking the path towards the right, just indicating. And now this is my horizon line. I'll take some white and cerulean blue and start this time I will start from the horizon line using the lightest color there very gently I'll be uh, moving towards left gradually and towards the right adding blues, whites all the time and trying to keep the texture. I have just sprayed some water on the, uh, on the horizon, uh, horizon so that my uh, palette can move more smoothly and uh, I can create better marks. Uh, now uh, in this sky I will be using different blues. Uh, the blues which I will be using will be uh, Palo blue, ultramarine, cerulean blue, and white. These colors will combine to bring out the atmosphere or the, the, the kind of uh, effect I'm looking for. Actually, I want the sky to uh, look as is, as if it's changing every uh, minute. The color, the uh, the weather, the clouds coming in and out. Uh, now I'm using ultramarine with white and applying it over the white already which I had put before I'm applying it on that because sometimes uh, now I have used pure ultramarine on white which is creating a lot of lot of movement and a lot of expression as you can see, uh, while I'm painting with my palette knife, I keep changing uh, the position of my, of my knife. Now I've taken some phthalo blue with a bit of white and I'm working on the darker side, which is giving uh, another uh, expression to the sky. We can uh, call that 
these uh, these marks clouds we can call them uh, the effect of light but there is definitely a movement and uh, if you if you keep changing the position of your of your palette knife you will get lovely a lovely effect which is uh, so expressive now i'm going diagonally see like so diagonally and somewhere horizontally so there's a lot of variation in the in the sky uh, which looks like a light sky a, almost a day sky but it has uh, an ever changing mood which i was actually aiming at now i'm almost done with the sky i will take the same color and connect the path with the horizon line keeping it light where it meets the horizon very light almost touching the horizon this is how my path will be coming towards the front as you can see i have added some some blue as well uh, which is uh, ultramarine and as you can notice that somewhere the color which i had put as my on my canvas as as my base color is also showing through which is giving a very nice uh, effect you know as it's coming through the lighter colors now i'm adding a uh, yellow ochre with a bit of red uh, to give a feeling of earth because it's a, it's like a well trodden path it's not made of stone it it has grass in it and it has uh, there's a lot of land there so uh, i have kept this uh, i have kept the ochre right in the front which will take the eye back towards the horizon I have added some thalo blue as well to intensify because this is a saturated uh, thalo blue so it will come forward Now I've gone back to the sky my the paint on the sky is uh, not fully dry somewhere it is wet and somewhere it is slightly dry so i'm scratching out some uh, and uh, some trees bushes scumbling some bushes and then uh, some branches more trees as you can see the part which has dried which is on the right is giving a Uh, is giving very very light lines and the one which has which is quite wet we can see the base thalo blue through the scratches and the scumbling now again i'm just just putting some bushes here and there grasses bushes or uh, some dry tree uh, trees or branches 
just scratching almost like graffito and uh, now I've made some more marks which represent uh, of course trees and branches and which are, which are quite dry because it's winter now with the edge of my palette knife I'm going to make some white branches just to create contrast like so now every time uh, you use a palette knife to make a line for whatever reason whether it's for uh, for a tree branch or a bridge or anything you have to reload your the edge of the of your na palette knife again and again because it gives uh, the line uh, it gives the line only once it's been loaded you can try your best but you have to keep re reloading it now that we have done that i am working on the first the fur the farthest uh, level of my ground which is very far away the colors which i'm using are uh, green yellow and white now this is the top part which we are seeing of of the plane which i will be dividing into different levels so this is the first level which is near the horizon line this is the light lightest one now i'm going to mix color darker using ultramarine bit of white and make this side of this level to show that it has it is a separate level we can see the top of the level and we can see the sides of this level now right now it looks like some kind of a, a, a rock or something but that's not it mm, i will be uh, now I have added more ultramarine on the side. The top is still very light and the side are quite comparatively darker. I couldn't make it very dark because then it would it it would become uh, the contrast would become too much so now what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take this spatula and take the dark part upwards towards the, the top light layer and integrate it with the sides so that it it looks like uh, that this this part of part is connected in some way um, the purpose is uh, to show the these bushes or grasses or whatever they are in the background are growing from the ground from the land uh, that's the whole uh, part and also in a way to subtly divide this level from the next one which I'm going to start doing right now I have mixed some green 
and white and a little bit of ultramarine and now I'm placing it with my palette knife just near the near the edge where the last where the first uh, part of the bushes are, were, are growing now we are gradually coming forward making sure that we uh, very subtly separate and divide different levels of the foreground. On this side, I have added the green again. At the same time, I'm trying to keep away from the uh, I'm trying to like um, not uh, go over the over the first uh, layer. Yeah, like so. At the same time, uh, I'm also making marks with my palette knife. To show that this level is separate from the first one. On the left I have used a darker blue and I have used some of it on the path as well. Uh, the green which I have used is warmer than the one which is near the horizon line and as we reach the front, the front part of the, uh, of the painting, uh, the colors will get slightly warmer but subtle so that uh, they don't make a, a, a very clear line so and uh, which can be just like uh, so now I'm making marks of grasses, leaves, different species of grasses, different thickness in leaves. And making it darker and more concentrated. Now I'm, I've come on the right side and I've used a darker green, adding more, a bit of ochre in it, there, so that it catches the eye first. I will have to use some uh, saturated colors as well, like this blue which I'm using, this thalo blue, so that it comes forward. Now that I have done the grasses, I've done the path, Now I'm separating the different levels of my foreground with my spatula just here and there 
not in a straight line. And the reason is to create depth and for that purpose I'm adding a bush as well. Here, some at the back. the front some or some also uh, touching the lightest level of my ground Now I'm using phthalo blue to make trees, winter trees. Now this is going to be a bit I have to be very 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 patient we have to be very patient when we make these lines because uh, whether it's your palette knife or your spatula when you make a line, you can make it only once and then reload your uh, spatula or your uh, palette knife. So it ta it will take a lot of it will take a lot of time, but uh, the when you do it, you'll find that it's so fun because every time you make a mark, it surprises you. And uh, you feel, uh, oh wow, how did that happen? And uh, you could have, uh, you can make uh, these trees with a thin brush or line a brush, but uh, the the effect, the broken effect you get with the spatula or with the palette knife. It gives a very, very natural effect and it doesn't give a harsh line. But of course, if you feel like making it with a brush, it's your work, you, you can do whatever you like with it. Now that I have to make some more marks, It is a bit time uh, consuming, but uh, then if when you're painting, uh, time doesn't mean anything. You just enjoy it, enjoy every stroke, every mark you make. This is the, the most beautiful thing about painting. Uh, here I'm bringing a branch of tree, again reloading the spatula, again and again, mark after mark. Uh, now if you want to uh, make a thicker uh, trunk or a thicker uh, branch, you can go over that again with by with your spatula or your palette knife you can go over that again and again and you can make it thicker it gives a lot of character and a lot of variation
again here I'm adding more marks I find it so satisfying um, I really like the now I'm using my palette knife the tip of my palette knife and showing some grasses here and there and using palo blue Some marks look like uh, leaves, some are like uh, grass and various species of plants. Now I'm adding flowers or uh, flowers, leaves and grasses on the horizon like so using a slightly a touch of purple and white just so that uh, just to give them some life and so that they don't disappear and uh, here and there I'm going to touch this color along the horizon and maybe somewhere in the second level the idea is that the eye should move slowly from the front to back gradually now I've added some dogs here just to show my path and now I'm just going to add some some of that purple white a little bit more so that uh, my my landscape doesn't look like divided in any way it should look like a smooth uh, move uh, vision from front to the back here also i'm adding some Red, red and white, giving variation in color as I come towards the front. My colors will get more saturated, bolder. Now these reds or other colors which I'm going to put and they could be uh, flowers, they could be uh, leaves it could be some sort of uh, grow, uh, grasses so I don't have a name for them but I just know that uh, there are some wild flowers and some wild grasses and now I'm putting some highlights uh, as you can see when you put uh, like white against black or uh, a dark color or a light color against dark color it stands out because of the contrast so 
A little bit of it goes a long way. Now, adding some, just hovering over the uh, over the painting with my palette knife, not pressing it too much. Uh, just touching here and there. Just very, very light touches. Now, as you can see, the planes which we divided before are, are like, uh, look like, a, they look like a con continuation of one plane, which is, which starts from the front and recedes near the horizon line. Add some yellow as well, lemon yellow, which is standing out so nice and bright. That's also uh, light against dark. Uh, I get a feeling as if my palette knife has a mind of its own. It's moving in its own way. Here I am adding some very, very light, very, very light uh, leaves or grasses or some flowers. Now again I've gone into the background. I've just lightened the area where the, the foreground and the horizon line meet. Adding a little bit of yellow and white here and there. Just a little color. Now I'm using thalo blue, uh, sorry, thalo blue to create depth on the left side and also to make this side a bit darker. And now I'm working on the path, going back. I'm adding yellow blue again. And here I'm adding some dogs. And now I've turned the boss towards the right, indicating it, just indicating it, just an impression. Here I'm adding a few wild uh, grasses and wild flowers just here and there near the path. I'm mostly using the lightest colors I can and giving depth a few larger flowers this here here is better I think I'll add some yellow flower just sticking out a bit and it's just sticking out a bit to, uh, just to break that uh, line which was uh, which is uh, the line which 
of my path just to break, give it a break to break that thing and uh, make sure that it doesn't look like a, a triangle of some sort I'm adding some more lights on this side the top the chair now you see the reds which I had put before uh, I have I toned down now on the left I'm adding cerulean blue to make the night uh, sorry the winter landscape as wintry as as it is here I'm adding some white flowers or some or you can see some leaves which are catching light which are bluish leaves so here also I'm doing the same I have I have to add some uh, red on the left uh, so that it echoes and it, it becomes the left side doesn't become a separate feature I have to I have to repeat I have to sort of uh, show the red on the left as well so as soon as i'm done with this i'm sh i will do that um bring this this part this is done now i have to take some red and put it just random random strokes here and there of red not bright red but red when it is put on a uh, tallow blue which is already almost dried it will look like it, it, it is red but it is not showing so now here going over the whole painting at the same time giving it my last touches actually there are never any last touches you have to stop somewhere and uh, don't want to make the video too long for you so there we have the red, echo of red as well which is now uniting the painting and we can feel the harmony I'm just adding some cerulean blue on the right here and there thank you for watching have a nice day